All right, guys, welcome back to our month of all one reviews. I'm really hoping that I'm getting this going in August, and then I guess it's August all in ones. So, today we have last week we talked about the Apple Cheeks all in one, and today we are going to talk about the Bambino Mio Mia Solo. Um, and this is a diaper that I got a lot of requests for. I ended up getting a lot of comments or a lot of messages in my inbox being like, have you tried the Bambino Mio products? Have you tried Bambino Mio? And I hadn't, so here I am trying it. My name is Bailey, this is the Cloth Diaper Podcast, and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe if you like somewhat regular cloth diaper content from a cloth diaper addict, mom, person. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and wherever else you want. Fun thing is I also am working with Kelsey at Bambino to make get Guy on the phone. So Guy is the founder of Bambino Mio, and we are going to do a podcast. So if you have any questions specifically about this product or about the brand or about how they manufacture, how they do anything, email me those questions. Bailey at cloththerapypodcast.com, and I'll be sure to get them into my chat with Guy. I bought this from Lagoon Baby and one of the reasons people are really interested in it is because it has a hook and loop cap and we don't see a lot of hook and loop here especially if you're North American and you're watching this and you're in the UK. Hook and loop is really rare. Um, you've, there are a couple brands who have it but very few that do let alone in an all-in-one system. So Bambino Mio has a hook and loop system which people are attracted to because they want it for their caregivers and they're curious about is this going to be a simple diaper for your family. So Bambino Mio if you don't already know it's a UK based company they've been in the business for 20 years making cloth diapers um, and they do manufacture their diapers overseas they make them Mio Solo and they make the Mio Soft. So today I have the Mio Solo which is their all-in-one version and this is a one size synthetic base cloth diaper. We will drop down and take a look at it and then I will uh, tell you my thoughts and opinions on it. It is a hook and loop diaper and it is a one size option. So we have here at the front three rise settings. They are quite graciously spaced out. They're about an inch apart with each with the bottom smallest rise falling um, not quite at the crotch so a little bit lower. This does look like a very high mid-rise diaper compared to, say, a low-rise diaper. To me, when you fold, see how you fold up the uh, inserts? This is going to be a diaper that you will find beneficial to shove that up. Once you shove that up, you really will reduce the gapping in the legs because um, otherwise you've got a lot of gapping and a lot of places for leaks. Anyways, we'll pull that open. And we have crossover hook and loop, so that's great if you have a tiny baby and you need to get that tightness. But remember, tightness is not the name of the game or the goal. You can also use those crossover snaps when you're rolling up a poopy diaper. This is name brand Velcro, and when we open up the diaper, we will see a short and small tummy panel that is top stitched. This is quite small, but I think that it would still do the function of holding back some of that liquid to prevent wicking at the top of the diaper. This diaper features a single microfiber soaker tongue, and it is unexposed microfiber on both sides, and it has a little pocket here that's intended for shoving it into the diaper your hand in there and you will always need to put that tongue inside the diaper otherwise um, you will get you could get a rash and then you can hold it and pull it out this is a suede liner similar to what you might be familiar with on bum genius products a lot of other brands out there who do have a suede tongue and it is nicely reinforced up here uh, and then these little loops here are intended for you to pull out the soaker. You might find that you need to pull out the soaker if you don't get a lot of agitation. My machine does a really great job with agitation. Some other features on this diaper before we look at how you can use it is it does have its laundry tabs right here. So before laundry day, always make sure that you shove those in because Velcro tabs are known to stick to PUL. I've had them stick to apple cheeks before. Oh, especially like raw edge surging and it will rip up your inserts. 
some uh, laundry tabs fall apart in the wash, like they'll come undone eventually, and I haven't had any problems with this. I've also put this one in the dryer, and so far it's looking really great. Um, no complaints there. If you wanted to use this diaper on a smaller baby, you're going to want to make sure that you fold up your tongue somehow. So whether it's, um, and I would probably just fold up this like little part here and then shove it in because if you shove this full length tongue into it and it's on the smallest rise setting for a little baby, you might get it sticking out and sticking out of the top is not good. See? Uh, it will pull the material with it, so I would make sure I fold it. So let's shove this in folded. You might find that the insert begins to unfold a little bit as you put it on baby. That's fine. The, the name of the game, the object here, is just to get that insert kind of folded small enough that you can get it onto your child and get a good fit. Another feature that I'm going to point out here is that it does have this back flap and uh, everybody's going to have their own experiences with this. If you haven't tried this yet, it's a great poop shield in that it will keep the poop from going up. But if you spray your diapers, you might want to be mindful of it because poop water will catch in here and it's better to just spray down the front and out. So these little skirts at the back of the pocket they, they have a lot of great features in that they are trying to help prevent blowouts at the top, but they can be problematic if you are a sprayer. We can look inside of it. Um, and nothing whole fancy. I guess there's a little bit of microfiber sewn in at the front of the diaper. Oh, that's pretty handy. So that if your tongue doesn't quite fit up there, we get a little bit of absorbency. And is it here on the back as well? Oh yeah, and a little bit of um, here in the back. So lots of great opportunity for absorbency. And that's about it with this diaper. I immediately really do love the quality of their hook and loop. So according to their website, they do use Velcro brand Velcro. So I guess I can stop calling it Velcro and I can call it hook and loop. And their laundry tabs always stay put in the wash, which is a huge win for me because I've had other diaper brands come undone and then nick up my PUL on my other diapers. Um, and that's not good. However, in general, this diaper is not my favorite. Um, you probably already know why. Uh, it's because of the synthetic tongue. So I do not like synthetics. I don't like synthetics for a variety of reasons, but the biggest is I hate how it feels on my hands and the fact that I have to put this insert into the diaper and touch it every laundry day gives me the heebie-jeebies. I also don't like synthetics because I find synthetics to be challenging to wash. You really need synthetics to clean synthetics. You really need hot water to clean synthetics. And I think that synthetics really are pulling down the cloth diaper industry, which sounds dramatic, but when we return back to the simplicities of cotton, I think we have a lot better experiences out there. This diaper retails for almost $30 Canadian. Um, it is only $21.99 in the U United States marketplace. Um, and at $30 Canadian, there are a lot of better options, in my opinion, that you can get that have natural fibers um, and hold up well. However, there aren't a lot of options if you need hook and loop. My one curiosity is if you had a smaller baby and you fold it, it would still kind of be challenging to get this tongue into there and then get the bulk where you needed it. Um, and that's probably my one complaint about this is that it's purely a synthetic all around and so you always need to put the insert into the diaper. And to me that's a PIA. This means that it's just a pocket with an attached insert that I have to do every time. And now I understand why a lot of people on Instagram told me they just cut off the tongue and use their own inserts in the pocket. So. I really wish this was either a natural fiber on one side so that I could leave it on top or 
Otherwise, the quality on this diaper is okay. I'm just not head over heels excited about the Bambino Mio. I think that if you are looking for hook and loop and there's not a lot of other options, that it would work for you. To me, this diaper is just too much work. Um, for what it is and I think it's a little bit costly as well considering it's all synthetics but I know a lot of people find that this diaper works really great for caregivers especially if you need that hook and loop experience let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the Bambino Mio down below I'm also going to take this moment to let you know I am accepting guest posts on the cloth diaper podcast because I think that every cloth diaper experience is important and not everybody has the time or the willpower or the knowledge to create a YouTube channel or a blog and so I would love it if you wanted to share your story about why you're cloth diapering, what challenges you've encountered over on the cloth diaper podcast.com. So just send me an email and until next time, bye.